From the arm of the Spirit Quartz, Bukuna Tuk, South Africa, we have the Central Quartz Crystal, surrounded by the Small Quartz Crystals. This specimen can be displayed all the way around at this angle. You could even have it flat down like this. Uh, one of South Africa's speciality, the, the Spirit Quartz. Now what we have, there are two main determining features. First of all, if you look into the terminations, you'll see that the color is concentrated around the edges of the crystals. Now, this is duplicated right through the specimen, so it causes the underlying uh, coloration of the whole specimen, the, the striations around the sides, or the, the, the bordering, uh, the color bordering around the sides. There you can see color bordering more intense around the edges. And then the second, the second thing is, which is very telltale to these guys, over and above being lustrous like sweets, uh, really, really impressive, is the central quartz crystal surrounded by uh, a whole lot of little quartz crystals. Now this will tell us of two generations of, uh, of growth. So you had something occurring in nature and then uh, at a later stage, maybe millions of years later, we had a, a similar event in nature occurring. And that's from the home of the spirit quartz, Bukina Tuk, South Africa. How would I display it? Well, I would, I would pretty much, I quite like this. Now, I'm holding it at this angle so that you, you can actually see the, the color, because what's happening, there's a little bit of overexposure. There we go, that's pretty accurate color. Let's just go in like this. It is pretty accurate. So it's a pretty dark purple.